It's that time of the year where I make another optimization guide. Lots of things have changed since the last one and I just want to combine all the things I've recently done into just one complete video. Just be aware this is everything I've done to optimize my PC and game based on all the other guides I've seen and all the tests I've done. Is there possibly going to be some snake oil in here? Maybe, but I promise you if you do most of the stuff in here, you will have overall higher FPS and a smoother game experience at the end of it. I don't care if some professional says a certain tweak doesn't make sense, new world optimization doesn't make sense, so everything you know is thrown out the window in that regard. You guys see my gameplay, you see how smooth my frames are, even right outside of Windsward. You see people with better PCs than me getting worse performance. Let's get your game and PC like mine. We'll start with the basic in-game settings. Camera shake off, auto traverse off, always show reticle on, always show weapons on. These two are up to you. Nameplates, if you don't do wars, set this to around 7 like me. If you do do wars, then set this to around 50 or however much you can maintain. Bandwidth mode on high and emit client telemetry on off. For video settings, put everything on low, FPS uncapped, and FOV is up to you. I like 50 because I aim better with it, but if you're a melee player, there's almost no reason to not go max FOV. Make sure all this is off too. Show FPS is off, obviously up to you, I like to keep it open. In audio settings, keep this at 100. Unless you're deaf, then you can make this 0. On the social tab, turn off the language filter because no one wants that. On the accessibility tab, make sure enemy spell indicators is on. The last thing you're going to do in game is go to about, click the credits, and you should see this page open up on your browser. Scroll down a little and look who it is. Wow. Make sure you click the link to my channel right under and subscribe if you like this video. Now moving on to the advanced stuff. So first thing you're going to do is open the video control panel and change these new world settings to mine. If at the very top you have image scaling instead of image sharpening, then you have to open regedit and copy and paste this in the search bar. It's going to be in the description, just copy and paste it from there. Next, find enable GR535, modify, and set it to 0. Make sure hexadecimal is selected, and now close everything and go back to NVIDIA control panel and match every setting just like before. Now download the latest version of NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Link to this will again be in the description. Click the zip file, drag the executable to your desktop, and run it. Tap and enter New World in the search bar and match every single setting here. This setting right here dictates how low your graphics can go beyond New World's default presence. I like to put it at 1.5, but if you have an old PC, you can put it at plus 3 instead. This single setting right here is your biggest boost to FPS in this guide, but make sure all the preset settings also match. Also, make sure at the very bottom you do enable rebar and choose the longest selected option and not the short one. Next up, open Windows Defender, App and Browser Control, Exploit Protection Settings, Program Settings, and Add Program. Add both NewWorld.x and NewWorldLauncher.x to this. Now go back to that game folder and find those two executables again. Right click, Properties, Compatibility, and Disable Full Screen Optimization. Then click change high DPI settings, override high DPI scaling, and make sure you select system enhanced over here. Make sure you apply everything, and then go to new world launcher and do the same exact thing. Page file is next. In the window search bar, type run, type in sysdm.cpl and enter. Go to advanced, performance, settings, advanced again, and change. Uncheck this automatic option and select your fastest drive. Change it to 40,000 megabytes. Just keep in mind this is going to use 40 gigabytes of storage, but trust me, a lot of unoptimized games need this. Those next gen Skyrim videos you see with 3,000 mods even require you to raise this to like 60 gigabytes. So if you have the space, don't skip this step. This one's going to be a quick one. Open your Windows settings, type Xbox Game Bar, click this, turn it off and then switch to game mode and turn that on. To make up for that, this one's going to be a pretty long one for you guys. Open regedit, copy and paste this into the search bar from my description again. Ignore the name and click the first folder. And make a new D word called TCP ACK frequency and TCP no delay. Make sure the capitalization directly matches mine or else this isn't going to work. After making them, go ahead and modify them and change the value to zero. Again, make sure it's hexadecimal 
and you're gonna have to do the same thing for every single folder in here. Now for some network optimization, open up your network settings from your taskbar, go to either Ethernet or Wi-Fi, whatever you use, change adapter options, select the correct one, configure, advanced, and now match each and every setting here to mine. Next up is hyper threading. I don't want to fucking hear it. Turn it off. If you play unoptimized games, you turn this off. If you overclock at all, you turn this off. It's a completely outdated feature and it's one of the first things you see in your BIOS. If you can't find it, just Google your specific motherboard for videos on where to find it. Also, if you have an Intel CPU with a K at the end, Google how to do a safe overclock for your specific one. And I promise you that will give you a big boost in FPS. This is a CPU intensive game. Your GPU doesn't matter too much. There's a negligible FPS difference between like a 4080 and a 4090. And if you have an AMD CPU, good luck. The last thing we're going to do is debloat GPU drivers. There's tons of guides on this online, but I'll give you guys a quick rundown on how to do it. Completely uninstall GeForce Experience. Download DDU, Display Driver Uninstaller, from the link in my description. Click the Clean and Shutdown option, and obviously it's going to shut down, so you're not going to see this video anymore. But after, you manually search for your drivers by going to this link. Download and install, and make sure you don't check the option to install GeForce Experience when doing it. And every time there's a new update, you do have to manually look for this update, and there's not going to be something that tells you, oh, you haven't updated anymore. So that's the only con of this. But the pro is you lose all that bloatware and there's many games where that's an issue and it can cause like a 10 to 20% increase in frames. Probably not this game, but it's nice to deploy your drivers for pretty much any game. Also, just a bonus tip, if you have an expensive mouse that probably came with some software, make sure you set your report rate or polling rate in that software to max. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and I look forward to arguing with those one or two people in my comments about how this is all a placebo and you're all imagining that this gives you 60 more FPS and less stutters.